Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here on a brand new day here in uh, Ajax Tavern or Tavern Ajax or whatever I've called it today. And as you can see, it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning and everyone's turned up that, um, that should turn up. My musician is there doing his delightful singing thing and entertaining my guests and also my adventurers are here. Uh, we've still got a day to go before they return with their booty of 11 cheeses, which I've sent them out on. Uh, I uh, did spend a fair amount of money, unfortunately, uh, building this little extension here. Yeah, so I'm down to negative monies at the moment. But I'm sure we will recoup that unless I start losing staff. But we're not going to do that. Any quests that I could do while we're here? Uh, reach two stars with any food. Oh, actually, that up. We should be, must be close. We're not that close. Our cherry cake is 18 to 30. Um, we may. Um, what I could do is if I take out one or two of these from the menu, uh, like that one and that one, will that prompt people to buy more cherry? than the other goods. We shall see. Research wise, we're pretty much closing in on the ale research. Now I'm not sure if we've got room for another barrel on a bar. We might have there next to the wine perhaps, I'm hoping. Because looking at the research, we can actually research three other drinks, milk, cider and mead, before, before we're allowed to add another bar. And that, that is quite some way away. We've got to get through all these as well. Unlimited waitresses, the first guests, uh, unlimited chefs. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of an ask, as it were. One thing I noticed, actually, uh, playing on a little bit after the last reputation. Don't worry, I'll, uh, the last reputation, the last episode. Don't worry, I, I will deal with my staff's happiness in a moment was how many drinks the barman is leaving on the bar there before the waitresses come and pick it up. Which suggests that I might need another waitress. Yeah, I think I might. So, let's have a quick look at our staff happiness. So, you're a bit of a way from... Uh, Levelling up, that's the word I was looking for. That's a phrase, <laughs> yes. Um, even though you do gain experience twice as fast as anybody else. Uh, okay, we'll give you a... Okay, we'll get the teardrop off your eye. Or out of your eye. We'll mop that away. We'll we'll sponge it off. With our silken hanky. And our chef here. Oh, he's always oh, very unhappy. Again, <laughs> he earns experience twice as fast. So, why is that? Uh, oh, good grief. We're going to have to make you very well paid. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to go for at the moment. We'll see if we can level you up. Okay, let's get the game rattling on. How many guests have we got room for now? We've got a fair number now. Now with those extra seats, we have occupancy at 36 seats in total now. We're currently operating at uh, an average of nearly 92% full. Okay, I was looking at waitresses, wasn't I? Uh, can we add another one? Okay, so who have we got here? We have got Helga. She can carry three drinks. Uh, they go up to a maximum of five. Apart from Shay here, who already carries five, but does have a maximum of eight. You could be good, actually. Gosh, that, that, those, those are powerful arms, carrying that many drinks at once. Uh, you're speedy going upstairs. We don't have stairs yet. We're at least two or three episodes away from that, I reckon. And everyone else is... Ooh, you're quite speedy when you're not carrying, which means going back to the bar to pick up new drinks. And you attract seven more customers. Not sure... I'm not sure if we need that. Helga here... Oh, actually, mood decreases 20% slower every day. And they're all the same salary, 26. So who am I going to go for? I think I quite like Shay here, to be fair. Yeah, uh, you have the same limits as everybody else. 
by the look of it. Yeah, and okay, we're hire you. Welcome to the team, Shay. Oh, I can. How much, uh, I can get four waitresses in total if I need to. Oh, I need to. Is that Shay? It is. I need to prioritise your work. Come, come, come. Okay, there you are. There you go. Right, we need to prioritise you. Uh, actually, we'll take you just to drinking as a priority task, and food can be a lesser priority for you. Cleaning being a medium one. Okay, that's cool. Right, let's rattle on through this. We should be getting quite close to... Oh, we have finished that research. Wonderful. Uh, so what you need to do is start the research on drink pricing. And if our previous experience is anything to go by, we're not going to get more than one or two of these red rare people every day outside of a party. Now, if, if the chef does level up a meal... Oh, look, we are getting, yes, 21 of the cherry cakes. We're getting closer, but that might not happen today. So I think I will have to schedule another party for tomorrow. And that'll be another one of these cheapo cheapos, regular parties. Actually, we could. It'd be nice if we could schedule the wine tasting, but our adventurers aren't going to be back with the cheese yet until the end of today. Slightly annoying, but they are okay. Uh, that's only 20 guests mine, but okay, we'll do that. We will do that. In fact, is there anything we can set our adventurers to do now while we're waiting? Um, actually, let's look at that party thing again. What other ingredients do we need? Strawberries for work anniversaries. Okay. And that gives me 50 of the rare people. Okay, so what adventures do we have that will find us strawberry? You do. You require 15 adventure, uh, 50 adventure. I can do that. So that is 30. Uh, that's not quite enough. Actually, if we do 12, if I take one of you out, put you in. That's good, 100%. That's fine. Uh, actually, we'll do that. So that gives us... The, there are no tasks that require <laughs> less than the 30... Uh, have less than 30 difficulty. So we'll send you guys out, shall we? 100% success, and you'll bring me 14 strawberries in a couple of days' time. Sweet. Oh, I need to get rid of the musician. We don't need you for tomorrow. Because the party doesn't require that party doesn't require musicians, so I can save fifty coin by not having you. Okay, the bar counter is clear. Okay, we're not running out of anything yet. Can I put the ale barrel on here? Wine barrel for five hundred. Oh, let's do that. I can. It goes there, and we'll fill you for. Okay, I won't fill you right up because I'm running a little short of money. There you go. Uh, beer will refill you a little bit as well. And this wine a little bit. Though actually tomorrow it's going it's all about lemonade, isn't it? That will do. Water should be fine. Excellent. So have we Oh we did meet that request for 200 litres. So we've got that quest done. Sweet. And it's the end of the day. And everyone's going home. My chef is still a little bit of a sad puppy still. And our final scores. The scores are in. The scores are on the doors. 464 gold coin in total profit. Uh, four, 106 drinks and 21 food. That's good. We're, we're getting bigger numbers now. But notice down here, no rare red people. Annoyance. That's that's what I'm thinking. So we've paid out all this in purchases. What was the 500 for? Oh, for the barrel. That's right, the ale barrel. The refills, adventures. Okay, that's quite good. So we're not going to, I think, add any new features to the bar for today. 
We don't need them. We've only got 20 guests coming in tomorrow, and that's for the standard work party. So we might as well just start that. And people, the adventurers always seem to come in regardless. My staff, uh, Alyssa is still a little bit sad. Okay, give you a slight increase. Our bartender, okay, a slight increase. And our chef is still very, oh, he's 0% happy. That's not good. And unfortunately, he's not going to level up today because these parties don't buy any food. Bother. Can we keep him... What do you mean 0% happy? I'm giving you lots of... Oh, 3%. Gosh. You are very unhappy. Okay, we'll keep an eye on him at the end of the day. Okay, I've got the 200. Uh, oh, the cheese is completed. Splendid. Right, now the cheese thing. Let's have a quick look at that. There is... I thought there was a recipe for cheese. Oh, there it is. I could unlock the cheese dish. I'll do that. I've got the cheese. What are you talking about? I have cheese. What? My, are the adventurers not bad? Oh, it's completed. I have to click on it. Right, got it. Okay, that makes more sense. Phew. I was, I was getting worried there. So I now have cheese in the cast, in the case, the uh, the uh, the storage area for my food. Now here, I can unlock that. Can we... Oh! Oh, ah, okay, right. It's a quest that will give me the cheese dish. Right, which is that recipe there. So I need 60 quest points. Right, okay. So we've not got that. Which is fine, actually, because what I was going to be saying <laughs> is that when I played on before, uh, off-camera, as it were, if you will, I discovered that um, you the, those people buy those cheese, cheese recipes, which means your stock is depleted, and you can easily get below the minimum required for the wine and cheese party. Because you need 10, and I've only got 11, you see. So, we could schedule that. That gives me 30 red people. Let's see how the research goes. Uh, whether I need to schedule that or not. Uh, yeah, my supplies are doing well. Sheffy, still 13%. I think he should be okay. It'd be nice if there was another way of increasing their happiness beyond simply giving them more money. That's a very brute force mechanic. It doesn't work in real life, really. You can perhaps keep some dissatisfied staff for a little longer if you give them loads more money, but at the end of the day, if they don't like doing the job, the amount of money becomes, you know, irrelevant. In, in general terms, that is, of course. <laughs> On the assumption that the employee does have options uh, I, I am obviously aware that there are some employees who have very limited options and can only take what they're given, unfortunately. Which is not the way that... Anyway, let's, I'll, get, I'll start getting political if I go on with that much longer. So I'll stop right now. So what we'll do, we'll uh, roll on forward to the end of this day and see where we are. We should have completed our drink price research. So here we are, 9pm, and these parties end a little bit earlier than the normal day, which is interesting. So we've got our 20 uh, red rare people, so we have completed the research for drink pricing. Which means when I go onto the bar here, I can change the prices of any of my drinks. Yeah. Uh, event is in progress and all drinks cost four. That's okay. If I increase... Oh, I can't change it during an event. Oh, okay. Hmm, we'll see that mechanic in work tomorrow, or when the event is over, at least. Uh, we could refill that, refill the water, that's free. I'm happy with doing that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, what I was looking at here was the research. And what I was thinking is, we could get 14 plus guests a day, which might be a good thing. But I'm tempted to... Go for the chopping table. 
I think. Yeah, because that gives me a few more menu choices, which we should have available to us. Okay, our, our adventure. What more adventures can we go on? We could actually send out, yeah, the cheese again, because once we've run our cheese and wine party, we will still be able to serve cheese-based recipes to our guests. So that'd be nice. So 14. Uh, da, da, da. Not quite. Uh, but whatever. Yeah, I, I wish I could do mental arithmetic, which I used to be able to do when I was a, a lot younger. <laughs> you get so used to using slide rules and calculators, don't you, that you quite forget. Uh, yes, let's skip, skip quickly past that. So 106, you guys can go out, get me some more cheese. That'll be nice. And we have today earned 643. Yeah, and just done drinks and bonuses for those 20 people. Okay, so I have a f amount of money in the bank still. I can get a... Could I get... I don't need people to wait any longer, I don't think. So I might, my serving speed is okay. So I think we're still happy with a single musician. We'll get you in. That's good. So that hits that request. So I can now get 200 more. There we go. And I could buy the kitchen grill. I could, you know. Uh, let's do that, shall we? Uh, kitchen. There you go. Uh, the kitchen grill. Yeah, the chopping table. I will look at the menu in a second and I'll show you why I did that. And we'll stick you in there. We may need to move our kitchen. Need to make our kitchen bigger soon, actually. Actually, let's do that now. So let's uh, extend you out this way. There you go. And we'll take you walls down. Um, ooh. Can I get rid of that window? It doesn't look like I can. Okay, I don't think that cost me any money. He said, hopefully. So we'll put that in there. I wasn't paying attention. That's the trouble, you see. I'll put a window in there as well for the back of the kitchen. All right, that's good. Uh, oh, we'd need some flooring. Of course we do. Our flooring. There we go. And our kitchen equipment. We can put in our fireplace grill. Actually, if we spin you around that away good and I can move you and we can move you over here I think and rotate you around okay like that then that looks good actually let's move you there that's splendid we've still got 983 do we want to put any more oh go on then let's see can we afford another table Another simple table. Uh, we need to rotate you around that away. You're a bit of a tight squeeze. Can I do this? Will it let me put these seats in here? Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, quests. We've bought the kitchen grill. Awesome. So we're not very far away then from getting our cheese-based recipe. So let's actually schedule that event, shall we? Um, for a couple of days hence. Our cheese and wine do. We need to unlock... What? Oh, I need the recipe, do I, first? Oh, bother. <laughs> bother is that? Okay, so we're not going to have a cheese and wine party, a soiree, of course, as it would properly be called. So let's uh, refill some of these. So we'll refill. Actually, can I change the prices on any of these? 
Up here. Yeah, we'll refill you. Lemonade. Yeah, we'll refill you. I will fill you right up. Can I change the part price? I, I, the event is still in. Okay, we got to change the day then. Make it a brand new day. I mean, the day has ended. We got the summary up, and everyone's left, even the adventurers. No. Okay. Let's start tomorrow. There we go. And now I will stop it and I'll go to the bar and I will select change prices. Yay! Uh, if I increase... Oh, it increases... Okay, it reduces the number of guests you get today because people are price sensitive. Mm, okay. You can't change prices on an individual drink. It's across the board. Okay. Well, let's see if that makes any difference to our profits. So, yeah, we've done that. Our drinks are now that much more expensive. Oh, we've now got strawberries. Yay! Does that mean I got a new recipe? Stop clicking things that you weren't talking... Oh, I can do... Oh, right. Okay, I can do bowls of chickens. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we've got that. And roasted fish, which is vegetables. And meat. Um, strawberry cake. Ah, uh, that's a quest-based one, is it? Right, so our quests then. So we're going to get the cheese recipe at 60. Make sure all staff happiness... Well, that's not going to happen. But we... Yeah, we should refill... I think we could, we might well hit both these quests. That'll give us seven points. So we should get the cheesy recipe then. Presumably that is the strawberry recipe. That's something exotic. Oh, an elite waitress. Oh, fascinating. But I still want to. Uh... Oh, the chef isn't sad anymore. That's nice. Good. The bartender, however, come back here, uh, is always zero percent. That's not good. I'm certainly not going to get that eighty percent happiness uh, quest, am I? Okay, twenty-two. We'll see if, if if that helps. Okay, let's run this a little bit faster and see how we're doing. Want to check? And we're four away from the cherry. All oh, the cream rolls are creeping up as well, so we could level up those. That'll be nice. That'll give us a better chance of rare people. Our occupancy rate is a little bit down. Okay, so they're happy to sit there against the wall. Not seeing. Oh, yep, yeah, they can sit there. That's good. Oh, and. Oh, they do squeeze in. Excellent. I'm sure we all know pubs are a bit like that, where you really do have to sort of uh, engage. Oh, what's that? What is that? That looks like a roast chicken kind of thing, doesn't it? What does that look like on the menu? A bowl of chicken. None of this chicken in a basket nonsense. Oh, no. When you come to Tavern Ajax, you actually get a proper bowl of chicken. Our adventurers, uh, do we want more cheese? Oh, uh, we might as... Oh, we could do with some more prestige, but we'll take you. Uh, we'll take you, you, and you. Okay, and 114. Bring me cheese. I like cheese. I have been told by my uh, health professionals that uh, I do need to cut down. I have actually cut a lot of cheese out of my diet. If you wanted to know that, that yeah, you've now, you now know that. <laughs> yeah, it's all cholesterol and fats and stuff. But I do love cheese. I do. Not necessarily the, the stinky blue ones. There are a few blue cheeses I quite like, but uh, not, not, the, not, 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 not the stinkiest of ones. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm not noticing these exclamation marks. Blimey, uh, we've got the chopping table. Let's go then for 
uh, extra guests, which means we can put our prices up. Yes. All right, so we've got that. Our staff, we have a chef leveling up. We'll level you up. That makes you very happy indeed. And more skill for main courses, I think. That's good. Our bartender is still kind of unhappy. We'll make you... It might be nice if you could see their salaries here so you could compare. But I don't know if the staff themselves talk about their wages. So, uh, so they sort of compare and contrast. So you could say that the bartender gets paid less than a, a good waitress, which might make them upset. Uh, what's our... Oh! Oh, we have leveled up our cherry cake! Awesome! Right! Level up! And that goes from 35 coins to 50 coins! Oh, that's, that's a tasty profit margin, I reckon. Excellent. So, presumably, do we... Oh, we've run out of... Oh, we need out of... So we'll fill that up. And we'll buy some more of this fruity stuff. I'll take you up to 20, I think. Uh, strawberries. Oh, that cheese, that all comes from quests, doesn't it? Uh, adventures, rather, so we can't uh, increase that by paying for it. That's good. Um, I was, was I going to look at something else then? I don't know. I was looking at that. That's, that's fine. So the recipes here. That's good. Ooh. Oh, look at that. A 2.29 uh, average grade or whatever that means of stars. Which now means we have not just a 1% of a rare red person, but a 1% chance of a gold yellow, a gold person. They're actually called gold people. VIPs, I imagine. Uh, quests. Yeah, we've hit that. And we've hit that. Excellent. So, presumably, we can now schedule a wine and cheese evening. Have I, uh, what, have I, have I not done that? Oh, I, I need to click it first. Right, so I've got that. I've claimed it. Right, got it. Right, you need to make sure you click things. Awesome! So they're going to pay seven for the wine, which I normally charge seven for anyway. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Splendid. Uh, yeah, I'm. We're good with that. And how's everyone looking? Just the bartender that's a bit sad. Well, that's okay. So today, actually today was been very profitable. 777 seven, seven in profit in gold coins. More or less equal drink and food income. Yeah. Even though obviously we sold, you know, a factor of 10 <laughs> times as many drinks as we sold food. But yeah, food is that much more profitable. That's the trouble with modern pubs though, isn't it? Yeah, food is too profitable. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, I'm going to get into a rant if I talk, start down that road. So let's stop that right there. So 293 bonuses. And yeah, actually we had two red people today. And our occupancy is still excellent, 97.5%. I could probably afford another couple of seats in here then, couldn't I? I'm just... No, we'll keep these simple. We'll get a bit more fancy, I think, in a day or two. So we need to rotate you round. Put you there. Put our seating in. Like so. Everyone's got light. Our prestige is 1940. So I think we could do with some extra decoration now. Um, so what we could do... Uh, what could we have here? We don't want anything too expensive because I don't have <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, we basically need 60 to get to 2,000, which gives me better qualified adventurers. Uh, oh, carpets. You're 100 for 30 each. Mm, what, what's, the, the, what's the benefits here? Plants. A globe. Do I not have a globe anywhere? 
actually, the adventurers could do with the globe as well for their planning of their adventures. Yeah, we'll take you and we'll put you in the corner there. Okay, and we just need something simple, I think. Okay, we'll put another plant in. We've got plants there and there by the door. Oh, let, let's put it in here. Excellent, so my prestige is now 2015, which means my adventurers should now have a skill level up to 21. Awesome. Right, um, and we will see that happening in the very next episode of Tavern Master. So actually, what... Uh... No, okay, we're not going... To... We'll see some new quests tomorrow. Uh, we have an event coming up in a couple of days, which will be the wine tasting. We have... We haven't got cheese on the menu yet. So I'm, I'm going to put that on when I have my wine and cheese tasting. Yeah, because I don't, don't want my ordinary people eating all the cheese. That, that, yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> really wouldn't work. And is there anything else I need to worry about here? I don't think there is. Oh, research. How are we doing on that? 92. We could finish that in the next day. Oh, do I want a chopping table, actually? Yes, because the chopping table will give me fish steaks and steak steaks and possibly even soups oh no actually soups need something more don't they yeah they need oh crates spice shells basins cauldrons no okay so yeah these two extra main courses require a chopping table so can we put one in there then Where's my kitchen? There's the chopping table. And where should we put you? Here, I think, next to the uh, to the case. Yeah, why not? We'll put you there. That's excellent. So our menu now. Roasted fish, steak, fish steak. Ooh, lots of lovely new meals we could uh, offer to our guests and tomorrow will be another episode of tavern master so thank you so much for joining me for this episode if you've enjoyed this it'll be great to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely just click on the old thumbs up button you know how that works even better though if you've got anything to say about how i'm playing the game things i've got wrong things i could improve on or generally thoughts about this game which as i say is due for release as of the moment of recording is due for release tomorrow so by the time you watch this the game has probably already been released so thank you so much for joining me today and if you haven't already then you could subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when i upload another episode of tavern master or indeed any of my other let's play series but from me ajax post here in tavern master until the next time bye bye for now